This isn't a tree. This isn't a tree either. And neither is this. As you can already tell, they're mobile foam masts and they tend to appear in more rural and picturesque areas as a way of preserving the view. There's no shortage of them across the country and they exist in large numbers in other countries as well. These two are near Morecambe on the west coast of England in the county of Lancashire. They're not that tall and they stand out like a sore thumb. Maybe that's just because my eyes are always drawn to masts, but I suppose they're less obvious than other phone masts. Now, there's something I've noticed with these types of masts, and it's not the fact that these sit disguised literally a quarter of a mile from the not-so-disguised Lancaster TV transmitter, which dominates the landscape in the area. It's the fact that they seem to be disappearing. Back in the digital mobile phone boom of the late 1990s and early 2000s when the networks were growing rapidly, there was a lot of opposition to mobile phone masts. People were brainwashed into thinking they caused cancer and there were stories of people sleeping under aluminium shields and all sorts. They were viewed by critics as an attempt to make the masts disappear into the surrounding areas but the mobile phone companies reassured the public that it was just to avoid spoiling the view in rural areas. Now, there's one thing I want to mention, and I'm hoping somebody can help me. There was a documentary that aired in around 2004 to 2005, but I could be wrong. It aired in the UK and was called Something in the Air, and it followed people in various places dealing with and campaigning against the installation of police tetramasts when the rollout of Airwave started in Wales. It was on YouTube but disappeared a long time ago, so if somebody has it, please get in touch. Anyway, this is a disguised mast that sat near Bucklow Hill, just south of Altrincham, for quite a few years, until it was demolished without trace to make way for the new bypass. I visited the site in 2014 to film it after seeing it dominating the horizon while driving towards Bucklow Hill. This fir tree example is still extant near Middleton in Greater Manchester, but nowadays it's home to a solitary microwave antenna and nothing more. The cabinet and supporting equipment below had been completely removed when I took a visit back in 2016 and the site looked in a sorry state. Now there's a larger cellular mast metres away which begs the question why disguise this mast and not the other. Not much had changed when I visited briefly in January this year either. A basic cellular mast costs around £15,000 according to certain phone companies, but the disguised masts can cost anywhere in the region of £60,000 or more. Maybe now that cell phone masts are such a familiar sight, the phone companies don't need to invest as much in disguising them anymore. They do still go up and you can easily find planning applications for them, but I know of half a dozen of these disguised masks across Manchester that have disappeared in recent years. So let me know if there's any tree masks near you via the email address on the screen and let's get some discussion going in the comments below.